Well, in this section, we'll see how to do uh, sending messaging from Postman as well as open it up as we click on this. And this is great for debugging. Well, previously we have seen just how to send messages from Postman and show it at the bar, but not from right redirecting the user to a new page. But here we'll do that. Now here I have this guy. So this guy is this guy. And now this guy's uh, uh, device ID is this one. So let's go ahead and restart it and make sure that yes, this is the device ID. All right. Okay, so this is very important. Do remember that every time you reinstall your app, you get a new device ID. So, and if you run your app in many different devices, you may mismatch with the ID. So make sure that uh, you restore and get the fresh device ID. So this is the device ID. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this device ID, or I don't have to copy this device ID, because I know that this is the user, right? So this is a user that who has registered in our uh, backend, Firebase console. So now this user is this one, okay? Because I know this is the guy and this is the name as you can see, all right? So these are the basic information that we can use for sending messages to him from uh, our Postman and then open it up later on. Now, how to do that? Now, Postman actually is very convenient. So here there are a few fields that we need to fill up. Actually, I've kind of done that already, but anyway. So the first one is two. So this two is this FCM token. So you have to copy this and put it here. Priority high notification. You can put anything over here. Uh, this is a body. It doesn't really matter. Okay. And title, you can just say a new title. Okay. All right, great. After that, the data section is very important because previously we have seen that if we click on the message, tap on it, it should have document ID. Now I know that this guy, whoever he talks with, he will have a document ID, right? So go ahead and grab the document. So go ahead and copy like this. And if you do that, after that, you need to put it over here and then to UID. Okay, to whom we are sending? Of course, we are sending to him. So over here, just go ahead and copy this. This is his to UID. How to copy that? If you can't copy directly, you can click on this uh, added method over here and then copy this one and then just do control C or command C, all right? And then you're gonna put it over here and you're good to go. And then the avatar, well, the avatar itself is over here, this one, but you could do the same, click, copy, and uh, sorry, you have to copy all of it. And then just come to your postman and put it over here. And now the two name, you can even define a new name. This guy's name is over here, uh, Dastri Ahmed, which is my name, but anyway, you could do it. Now with this, you'd be able to do better testing because testing is very important, debugging. So now with everything, we are ready. Uh, so just go ahead and add this part over here, make sure that this is correct to the format, and then let, let's come over here. Now I'm gonna put the app in the background and then like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit uh, the send button and at the same time, I'm gonna observe that if I get status code 200 or not, which means success one, right? So we also have to take care of that one. And after that, we're just gonna hit the send button. Let's go ahead and do that. And over here, we do see that, yes, there is a success message, success one, and at the top, we see that we have this one, right? So we're gonna pull it down over here and then I'm going to click on this. But of course, this is the exact message that we have sent from here, as you can see, a new title, this is a body, right? I'm gonna click on this and that would be beautiful, it would take us to a new page over here, all right? But so that's how you go there. But of course, there are a lot of other information that should have been here. Uh, it's still not here because we are not really going or chatting or even saving this uh, information because our chat is not actually saved here. Remember, when you open up the app over here, we should be saying the chatting, but that chatting comes from the algorithm uh, or the code that we have created. But that with this Postman, we understand that yes, we can hit a certain route if you want, once you click on the button, hopefully it makes sense. And it would be also very good for your debugging. Okay, and if you liked it, don't forget to thumbs up and give me a good comment, thank you.